Hopefully we back to some good vlogs today. Heard back from Pro Charger, they sent me a new tune. I'm on my way back out to the shop right now, to the Camaro, and we are gonna slap this thing on, see what's happening. Gotta get her a car wash ASAP. All right, got the Pro Charger tune loaded up. Let's go ahead and write it to the ECU. There we go, all done. All right, you guys, let's start her up. The hell? The scanner going see what my fuel trims are looking like still reading high but the car is not warm at all so I'll let it warm up and then we'll look at it well I guess I need new fender liners huh look at that wore through just from day to dog in a little bit yesterday ah. hopefully that ain't expensive all right she's probably been warming up five ten minutes now engine temp 165 not quite all the way warm Fuel trim levels look better. We'll see. Still a little bit red on the short term, as you can see. Let's see what the long term's looking like. And this is just idle, mind you. Slightly high. <sighs> to my understanding, at idle, I should be running a little bit rich, but we'll see. Lighting is all bad, but what's good, YouTube? It's your boy ZT Zooming, and I'm back with another booming video. So if you guys have not seen the last video where I was having problems with my Pro Charger, I think it was the tune, but Pro Charger was pretty cool about it. They sent me out a new tune, so that's what we're doing now. We're out here, gonna data log it. My fuel trims were looking still a little bit high, as I just showed you, but now that I'm glancing back over, the long term is going back down some again. All right, you guys, I just took it out for a drive. I didn't love the numbers I was looking at, but now I'm sitting here idling in front of the shop, and look at this. I mean, for the first time ever, my numbers are looking A1. So I'm really wondering if I just need to drive my car a little bit more because I just drove it. It says 20 minutes there, but it was idling for, what, 10, 15 of those minutes? So I maybe drove it for five. Uh, that is the best I've ever seen the numbers look but if you go and look back at my drive the short-term fuel trim was definitely getting up there but it doesn't look like we broke 20 at all because last time we were breaking up into like positive 30 so I feel a little bit better about that so in my mind at least that pretty much confirms that it's not something on my end that it's definitely something with the tune so I'm gonna get my front fascia put back on I don't want to destroy the fender liners anymore they're pretty much shot out now anyways. And yeah, let's drive this around today and see what we're looking at. I, I didn't feel great about this until the idle right now, but the idle is way better than how it was idling when I left. I just got a feeling that has to do with learning the fuel trims. So, hey, at least we got some positive news, man. In some ways, this Pro Charger been one thing after another, but luckily, Nothing too serious except for this running lean feels pretty serious to me y'all So let's get this facial put on and do some more data logging and see what we can get into all right new day now you guys So I didn't get a chance to put my front face on yesterday My little cousin had his car pulled in here on the lift swapping his rear axles out So I ended up helping out with that for a little bit and uh, yeah I just didn't have the time today is actually Thanksgiving so happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there you guys will probably get this the day after Thanksgiving I'd like to say I'm thankful for the health of everybody that I love everyone's in good health and I'd also like to say I'm thankful for all the good things that have come my way this year and that hopefully continue to come my way all right so today you guys we're about to get this front fascia put on but before we do that I was waiting on a new set of spark plugs here now I only went one step colder um, it's kind of debatable everybody has their own preference for what they like to gap on that and for which plugs they actually like to get I didn't go two steps colder I only went one and then this right here I bought a little set of check valves now I ended up pulling it out of last video and I probably shouldn't have because I wasn't exactly sure what was going on but the PCV lines were like pinching <laughs> So I pulled them all apart. I replaced all of the hoses. I had some 3 8 fuel line, which is what was on there. How I showed you guys this line was pinching when the car was actually running. Luckily, we've got some more fuel line hose. This 3 8 hose is all this is. Go ahead and replace the line. I replaced all the hoses and checked that check valve. And like that check valve worked, but it just didn't, it just didn't suck through as easily or as resistance-free as like 
I would normally like. So just in case, I bought some new ones of those, but the lines quit pinching after I moved everything around, and I checked that check valve like three or four times I took things back apart because I was just unsure about it. So I wanna get both of these things put on, then check the tune again, drive a little bit, see if the fuel trims get any better, and then if at that point they don't, I'm gonna reach back out the Pro Charger. So let's get this slapped on, then we'll start working on that front fascia. Got the new check valve installed right there. Not only does it look way better, it floats so much better than this one did. This one was like super restrictive. Let's get these spark plugs knocked out. I got the coolant tank, or coolant reservoir tank, whatever you wanna call it, moved up out of the way, kinda zip tied there. Um, I had to disconnect this one line. I don't really want to disconnect the rest and lose coolant and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to try to get this side done first because to me, this seems to be by far the hardest. So, I'm going to try to get to these plugs, get these swapped out, and then we'll start messing with this other side. And hopefully, we get this knocked out quick. So, like I said, it's Thanksgiving. I'm trying to eat, y'all. All right, we got all the plug wires removed, you guys. I hope you can see it in there. We got this side removed, too. I had to move the coolant reservoir out of the way if you guys don't have a spark plug wire boot whatever the hell remover highly suggest you get you one of these save your life damn my hair is looking crazy new day now back at the shop so i got the spark plug switched around um it was thanksgiving y'all i wasn't about to stay out here all day i was out here for like a little over an hour and i had to skate so yeah got all the new wires put back on now i noticed I noticed right here you can see where I cut a little bit of fuel line hose and stuck it in there. The radiator shroud is kind of sharp and it was rubbing on this tube here. I think initially when I installed it, it wasn't an issue, but as these warm up, I think it starts to expand. Same thing with this one here. Like, I have clearance and it's not that tight, but when things get hot, it really begins to expand and so... I mean, I should have thought about that, but simple fix. Right here, I'm gonna trim the fan shroud a little bit, put this piece back on, and then this one, I'll just trim it a little more up here so it sits further up. Let's get it. So I gotta trim up these little corners here. I'm lucky it didn't go through. You see the little spot there, but on the inside, luckily, on the inside, luckily, there's no damage. Man, finally, 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 you guys, seems like it's been forever. Got me some extra space here so it's no longer rubbing. Plenty of clearance here now. Still got clearance on that side. Front fascia obviously put back on, all reattached, so. It's nighttime now. I'm gonna take it real easy. Go ahead and take her home, monitor everything. We'll data log on the ride home and just take it easy. See what things are looking like. Hopefully this helps clean things up a little bit, but I got a feeling I've got to contact Pro Charger still at least one more time. We back at the crib now. Let's check this out. See, like, things don't look too bad there. And the moment it goes into boost, like, the numbers go normal and it's slightly rich, like I think it's supposed to be. But, like, on the D cell here, look at those long terms, man. I mean, plus 27. That's crazy, it seems like to me. I don't mean, seeing when I'm not in boost, the fuel trim numbers are high. And then the moment that I go into boost, you see the throttle position getting up there. The numbers start evening out and look great. But then on like D cells, super, super lean. I mean, I don't know if that's super, super lean. If you guys have an idea of what your numbers look like, like when you're not under boost and during D cells, I mean... Is this what other people's numbers look like? I don't know. Again, I don't have that much experience with, you know, forced induction or boost on these motors. So, or just on motors, period. I definitely think I'll be reaching back out to Pro Charger because, I mean, it still just really gets into the red in the short term. Especially look at here. If we look at, see when I go to boost, look at those numbers. They start looking good again. And then on the D cell, look at those long terms. But anyways, if we go back to the short term and we go at the highest values, look at that. One of them was 
plus 40. I mean, it's at like a low RPM, so there's not nearly as much load on the motor. To me, that just doesn't seem quite right. I don't know, you guys. But yeah, I got some more data logs. I'll probably be taking it fairly light for the most part. I'll probably be reaching back out to Pro Chargers, see what they got to actually say about this. Hopefully, they can clean things up a little bit more. It seems like whatever they did definitely did actually help. So, yeah, hopefully they just uh, keep working with me and we can get this dialed in. But that's going to do it for today's video. This your boy ZT Zooming. I'm keeping it moving, baby, and I'm out. Peace. For those of you right now that are looking at the screen and screaming, why don't you just get a freaking Pro Tune? For one, I got the 50 state legal kit and technically to be carb legal i have to run their tune anyways number two i'm gonna get this tune as dialed in with them as possible as i can before i decide to spend that extra money to go and get the pro tune for the exact reasons i listed in the last video that i have other upgrades i'd like to do before i actually go ahead and get that tune done i'd like to have my final tune done on like my halfway finished car